this next job, you get to use your imagination and drawing skills to plan and create designs for projects that range from interior renovations to entire new buildings. Let's learn more about it from our next guest, an architect. Hi, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Barry. Nice to meet you. An architect is a person who works and shapes the built environment. What we try to do is come up with not only the technical ability to build these things, but most importantly, we help a person shape their dreams to see what that actual concept can become. A typical day for myself is to just check emails, phone messages for clients. The second thing is we like to have a little team meeting in the morning, and then during the day, it's working with the group here, trying to resolve any issues. And then it's also meeting with other consultants, whether they be engineers, going through the project. Typical day for an architect is 8.30 to 5. Certain firms will have a little bit of flexibility. When I was in high school, my neighbor at the time was an architect. And so I got to actually go to his office, see what they were doing, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. And went through school and basically during the summers worked in architects' offices and just fell in love with the profession. So this is part of the design phase, and here's where you're really seeing your drawings come to life and how important they really are as part of the process. Right, and one of the techniques that architects use is a combination of technical drawing, which is more like a computer drawing, okay. and also then using still the idea of sketching to uh, convey changes. Perception is very important because what you're trying to do is you're thinking about your idea and then how do you translate that. So when you're intuitively drawing, you know how much space you need around to maneuver around, how close things have to be. To become an architect, there's a few paths. I went the traditional path, which is go through university, and there's a variety. There's bachelor's programs and master's programs, and it takes between five to seven years. Some of the universities actually have work programs, so you go to school for three months, work for three months. There's a variety of different ways you can do that. Another avenue is the syllabus program, where you actually, if you became out of technical school and you work for an architect, you can then do a work program. Once you have your education, the uh, next is experience. Once you have filled out the required hours, then there is an examination. And upon that, you are then able to get registered in the province. To keep your license, what you do is every two year period, you have to do approximately 36 hours of research, either that's attending workshops, conferences. You can also do personal reading and also trips to other countries to look at architecture. One of the things that really has evolved over their profession in the last few years is the use of 3D animation to describe our designs. We find this really helpful in convincing public officials and neighbors. So in this case, we've actually built the terrain of the site with it using uh, topographical, and then we placed our design and populated it with uh, trees, etc. It's so right now we're looking, this is going from the drawing phase into like a typical model in front of you into the 3D world. Yeah, what we've done is we're trying to get approval from the city, and this is a tool that we use for a master plan. So what we're trying to do is give the feel, the building approach, how the design would work, the materials. When you're working for an architectural practice, there is always the ability to move into the variety of jobs that are in it. You might specialize in a specific area where you become a design architect. You might become more of a technical architect. And then ultimately it's whether a person wants to actually then become also an owner. One of the most interesting things about being an architect, you get to walk in somebody's shoes for a few years. It's never the same. Everything is new, which is really exciting. Barry, thank you so much for showing me around today. Yeah, great having you by. Take care. And once again, I'm Brian for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours.